Hey, what's up eBay? What's up YouTube? This is a video for my 67 Mustang that I'm selling. And it's pretty decent condition. It still could use some work, some money put into it, but it does run and drive. It's had a lot of parts replaced on it. Um, it's pretty much a 10 foot paint job. It's gonna need uh, to be perfect, you know, a repaint, but it's a lot better than having a primer gray or a, a multicolored one. So it actually does have paint all around it. So here it is. I'll show you guys up close. Like it looks real good in the sun. But it's got some bubbles in the paint. I'll put pictures on the ad and stuff. And then so there's a little rest back here. That's about it. That's the back, that's the worst part. The wheel well straight. There's a little right there. It has a hole on both sides right here near the the little fins because someone had a different style things on it so you know the door's got some scratches and stuff there's a little bit of rust down on the bottom not much the bottom of the fenders are all good underneath it's all pretty much good and then um, plus you know the parts are pretty cheap for these cars so whatever it needs you know you can probably replace it has some dents up here in the in the top real minor ones so, you know, to be perfect, it needs a little bit of body work done to it. Same with right here. It was like that when I got it. It's got a cracked windshield. It's missing the trim around the windshield. It's missing the wipers. And it's missing the antenna. Pretty much everything else is here. These trim pieces are missing on the back, except for this one that goes right there. So as you can see, but it's a California car, it's whole life, so it's really clean. Don't, don't have to worry about any rust in the trunk or the floors or anything. So the body's really straight. If you're in another state or area where that gets rust, I'm just gonna point out the little small imperfections on it. But it's pretty good. Little bubble right there. Like fenders are good. You know, there's bubbles in the paint. Just little spots from the fender hit, I mean the bumper hitting. It's a it's an old paint job though, and then up here, you know, it's got the GT hood. Someone put the the pins on there. I didn't do that. So but they kind of miscut it. And then there's that. You know, it's got a whole bunch of little spots on it. Like I said, it's a good project. It's not hella rusty. It's a clean title. So, you know, for the most part, it's pretty straight. It's got a recent radiator, um, new battery, has a new starter solenoid. It's got a new alternator. It's got a new um, voltage regulator. It's at 392. I don't know if I said that yet. It's a 390. It's not a stock 390. It's, uh originally was a 289. That's someone put this in, but it runs good. It, it starts right up, and it might could use a little tune-up or some a little money thrown at it here and there when stuff goes bad. But for the most part, it's good. It's had the carburetor rebuilt. Um, it's got a new master cylinder, new power booster. Um, it's got a recent gas tank. I mean, a lot has been done to this car. So um, let me show you guys some more. And I'll take like pictures of everything for the eBay ad. So let me show you the interior. Interior is pretty good. It's got new door panels, um, new window cranks. The windows work. The front ones do. The back ones aren't hooked up, but they go up and down. Um, it's got new carpet. A dash mat like the dash is cracked so I'll put the dash mat on there the seats are original um, not maybe not to this car but they're original from a Mustang of this year um, everything else pretty much been replaced it needs a headliner I have a headliner it'll come with it I repainted all the metal part in here all the door panels 
It's got an old GT wheel on it. I have all the I have the chrome thing that goes around here. I just haven't put it on yet. Um, it's got new door sill things. So it's got a lot of money put into it. This is my project, but I have a bunch of cars and I just don't need all of them, so. Let me show you guys the trunk. So, there's a headliner that comes with it. I got the original floor mat. Um, not original, but original style. There's a, some gears for the one of the rear windows. Like comes with a few little extra parts. I got the cardboard down there just to keep it clean. But yeah, there's no rust back here. Tank's been replaced. You know, you could clean it up a little bit better. But I just want to show you guys. You know, you can see a little bit of rust in the in there. I'll take a picture. But for the most part, it's really solid. Ready to uh, ready for your money. So whatever you're trying to do to it. Ready. It's got some air shots. Um, it's got some duels on it, old school duels. So yeah, it runs pretty good. I'll start it up for you guys. The door lock's a little bit tricky right here. Sometimes um, to close it, you gotta push it back down because if you close it, it won't close. Well, sometimes it will. But if you push it down and pull it up, it'll work. And then I have new armrests as well for it, but I don't have the screws, so I wasn't able to put them on. So, you know, it's got some little issues. But you can hear it started right up. Sounds like a, a old muscle car. Doesn't have any like special exhaust on it, I don't think. You know, it doesn't have flow masters or anything. Kind of sounds like an old school muscle car that was riding around in the 80s or something a little bit, you know. But yeah, you can hear it. I don't have it registered right now, but I'll drive it down the street for you guys. You know, the brakes need to be bled. It needs, it needs some brake work. It's gonna need a little work here and there. It's got a uh, transmission, has a, a little leak, I believe from the gasket. Uh, maybe it, it, it could be coming out, you know, one of the other seals too, but it's not even that bad. So, you know, it's, it smokes when it, when it drips on it a little bit. But, um, other than that, it's cool, you know, but you know, you, you'd want to seal that up. This, this car just sits in my backyard. So, um, it's my project, you know, when it's a nice day, I come out and work on it a little bit, but I just got a, a few too many toys right now. So, um, uh, I'm going to sell some of them and this is uh, one of them. So I just want to show you guys it drives and stuff. So right now I don't have tags on it, but you know, all the gears work and the transmission, um, the brakes stop, you know, like I said, they could be a little bit better, but you can see I'm driving, I'm actually moving right now. It's a 1967 Mustang, that's fairly old for a car. But yeah, it's pretty much all complete. I mean, you can see the dash has got some cracks on it. it. I didn't clean up the gauges and stuff yet, so I'll probably clean it up a little bit better before I post the, the add up. But I mean, parts are pretty cheap for these cars. I got a cracked rear view mirror. But um, like for the most part, like I'm saying, it's complete. 
it runs good you know all, all old cars got little bugs and stuff you need to work out of them still so this one does too you know um, just like any old car but it, it, it is pretty good so I'm actually able to get in it and drive it so a lot of old Mustangs can't do that And that's got to be unlocked before you get out and then you got to push it back down to get it closed but if you pull it back up and unlock it it's cool it's just got to go down and you see this window right here just you know it falls down a little bit or you can push it up but i have all the gears for that and it comes with also it has a window new window cranks for the back windows too so there it is It's a good project. Some people might consider it a project. Some people might consider it not a project. They might consider it done. However you're looking at it, it's California, California 1967 Mustang. Not a California special, just a California car, excuse me. But yeah, it's been in California its whole life. So, you know, it doesn't have any rust. You know, there's no rust on the floors. Like I'll try to get under there and show you guys some pictures, but just believe me, there's no rust in the trunk on the floors or anything just a little bit around the wheel wells and that's probably all you're gonna find on this car so it's ready for you know whatever you're trying to do with it so there it is if you guys got any questions let me know you can hit me up on YouTube or on eBay if you're seeing this if you're seeing this on YouTube and you're interested in the car you can um, just contact me you know somehow wherever you're seeing this I'm sure there's a way to contact me on there so if you're interested you can do it and I'll answer any questions you need answered I keep it honest when I sell cars you know like I said I'm not saying this is a show car but it does uh, it is a 67 Mustang which is very desirable it's got a lot of potential it's got the GT hood you know it's all here it's actually got paint on it it's got interior in it you know a lot of them are just uh, no motor no trans no paint no nothing and you still got to pay 2500 3000 or whatnot you know so the motor in this car is worth probably two three thousand just on its own the car is at least worth three thousand on its own so you know i'm just probably gonna have it i'm not sure what the price is at the moment that i'm putting this up but i'm probably gonna put it up around six thousand and just let you guys bid on it and see you know how it goes from there uh, i'm not really interested in selling it for less than that like i said 67 mustang uh 390 motor it's got disc brakes on it it was original V8 car, so it's got five lug wheels, you know. It's got the uh, little traction bars in the back. Um, you know, it could use, like I said, it keeps some upgrades. If I was going to keep it, I would put some, um, probably put some better, some bigger springs up front. Maybe some new shocks, get some suspension work. Because it was a 390, so this, I mean, it was a 289, so now it's got 390. And I don't think the person who did it change the springs or suspension or anything so even though it was a v8 it's a little bit heavier than the original motor plus it's old so you know it could probably stand to be uh fixed at some point but it doesn't need it like i'm saying it just depends what you want to put on this car and what you want to do to it so um uh, yeah can't really think of too much else on it it's non-op so in california it's not going to be too much fees just uh regular fees no no back fees or nothing you don't have to smog it um, it's a clean title so yeah it's re it's ready to go so it's good you guys can see that the car runs and stuff now